Okay, so somebody asked yesterday for some clarification on how these little molds work, so I thought I would just do a quick video. Um, I'm going to unmold one of the ones that I did yesterday, and then we're going to stick some green stuff in there and make a shoulder pad. So, right now I'm just mixing up some green stuff for anybody who is like new to the hobby and doesn't know what this stuff is. It's a two-part epoxy. Um, understanding like which color is which will help you here. So the blue part is the hardener and the yellow part is the filler. So if you want more working time and it for it to be like more flexible when you're done then you use more yellow than blue for these little shoulder pads 50 50 works great um, you're just going to get better results if you use the green stuff when it's fresh so i would just make sure you don't mix up a whole ton just use it like a little bit so that's all mixed up there i'm just going to pull this little mold out um, I use these caps because they're just really convenient for doing something this small. I've also made some like press molds and stuff with these too, but this is the, the shoulder pad. So you have to kind of work to get it out of there, but it's pretty, this silicone is pretty stiff after 24 hours of curing. So I, I did these yesterday. All right. So you can see there's some clay that's left in the bottom. We'll set that aside. I would not reuse this clay. It seems like some kind of reaction happens when you pour the silicone in there that makes it like crumbly and partially cured. And that might be maybe from the heat because I think when a silicone mold is curing, it it uh, gets warm or something like that. So you can see there's kind of like some clay that's in here before you stick green stuff in there, you wanna get rid of all of that. So I'm just gonna pull the little shoulder pad out. As you can see, it comes right out. Um, no problem. You might have some like little, like I said, bits of clay that are still stuck in here. Get rid of those because you don't want them to stick in your green stuff. I mean, it might not like, depending on how it gets stuck, it might not be a big deal. But uh, so now we're left with this little flap right here. And I actually, I, when I first made these, I tried to make them as a two part mold and then cut them apart. And uh, the detail is great, but it just didn't work the way that I wanted it to. I wanted to not only use less green stuff, but also not have to like have a solid shoulder pad. So I could just glue it right on. So you can see um, a bunch of these guys that I did, like this guy right here uh, has the cast shoulder pad. Um, same with this guy, I think. So yeah, anyway, let's put that. I'll probably get rid of those ones that didn't work out. So I wanted this little flap to be here because I, I want to be able to form uh, the shoulder pad by like squishing that in there. The only thing that kind of sucks is you probably will get some air trapped in there. So that's why there's that little weird spot. It'll be like a little bubble on the inside, which is fine. I'll show you one of the finished ones. So you can see like a little bubble got trapped in there, but the outside looks great. And that little bubble, all you have to do is just take a X-Acto knife and just trim it off. And actually, I'm saving those little bubbles because I'm making a, a lava, lava terrain set. And all these guys are going to go on like lava bases. And so I, these little bubbles will work perfect for making little lava bubbles and stuff. So um, you can also use this mold making technique to make single-sided press molds for stuff like pistols and everything. I'm doing... Death Watch and Adeptus Sororitas. So I wanted pistols on as many models as I could get. And so I made these little press molds and uh, you just smush the green stuff in there and flatten the back and then trim off the excess when it's done. And it works really fantastic. So, all right, we're gonna actually use one of these now. You don't really need much green stuff for this at all. It uses very, very little. Um, so I just roll it into a ball so that I don't have any like weird seams or anything. Flip this little flap up, smush that in there, and then like smash this. Just like smash it really good. Um, I smush it until I get what looks like um, a nice like even surface. And I'll show you what I mean. 
kind of you might have to kind of smush it around there. And like if you're like, oh, I'm not sure if that looks good, since it doesn't stick, you can pull this up. Um, it's kind of challenging. It's flexible though, and remove the green stuff. It's much easier with like a little tool. So I'm gonna dip that in some water. Pull this green stuff out. This is super fresh. It's a little bit easier to get all this out when it's um, when it's been sitting for a few minutes. So it's very sticky right now. But if you work at it, you could get it all out of there. And you're like, okay, well, let's start over. Um, you might need a little bit more or a little bit less. If you have too much, then you can take a little scraper tool and just scrape off the excess, or you can leave it and trim it later. I like to get as much off of it as I can uh, so that I do a little bit less work when it's done. So I'm gonna stick that back in there, get in there. And basically you want this little flap, sorry, this little flap, you want this to sit flush with the rest of the, the mold that's around it so that you know that the shoulder pad is like the right shape. See, there was not quite enough green stuff. Now you can see that it's all full in there, which is what we want. And so now you're just gonna leave it when the green stuff cures so that you that it's not uh, gonna deform anymore, which is gonna be at least a couple of hours. Then you just pull it out of there. Um, if it's not quite fully cured, the surface you could leave some like little fingerprints or whatever on, um, which you know you don't notice when you go prime it and stuff. But I would just leave them there. Um, so I actually, with the Kill Team box set, I made molds for every one of those little shoulder pads, and it worked out super good. I made this double-sided one, which doesn't work as well as I would have liked because. Uh, I had to cut it apart, and that's why, it, like you can see, all these edges are kind of raggedy. Um, only because my mold release didn't work quite right. So I tried to use baby powder, and I don't know if I used and didn't use enough, or if it just isn't going to work as well. Uh, some people say Vaseline or baby oil. Um, they also make a spray that's specifically for mold releases. That way, you form one half of the mold. And then when you pour the liquid for the other half on top of it, these won't stick together and you can just pull them right apart. So if I ever redo these, I'll probably just buy the mold release spray to make my life a little bit easier. Um, but they still work well enough and I do basically the same thing. I, I put the green stuff in there. I'll do one just to, just to show you guys. So I, let's do this middle one. So I stick it in there. very sticky. Then I I do kind of have a way to line this up a little bit, but if it's not perfect, that's okay. And then I just like sit there and I really like smash it. And when I have all of these full, I do this for every single one. I just really smash it in there um, so that I can try to get the mold piece full of green stuff and then also make sure I get all of the, the like, especially the Death Watch shoulder pad has that ridge. You know, like that ridge right there that makes it taller, um, like a medieval jousting pauldron. Um, and so I want all of that to be filled with green stuff. So we'll see if I got it right. Okay, so there you go. So not bad. Um, you might have a little bit of cleanup to do with these. Like, as you can see, my mold is a little bit weird on them. So I have like a little piece that has to be trimmed on the bottom every time, but that's fine. It's not like a huge deal. They still work very well. It's just a little bit of extra work. Anyway, if anybody has any questions, feel free to message me.